Hello Taurus, welcome to the Moon Blue Awakening. I just wanted to take a really quick look inside of your love life. So without too much talking, I'm going to go ahead and pull the cards. I did want to just start, uh, as I'm pulling the cards, I did want to say that this is going to be a short video. Uh, but if you would like an extended version of this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, at the end of this week, once I have released all 12 signs, we will be releasing um a, an extended off based off of whichever one of these videos had the most views so check out your sun moon rising north node as well as venus i'm going to turn both of these back over uh because it's already feeling similar to aries but this is for taurus spirit thank you so i have the uh triangulation and then fun times so uh what i have right here for taurus going forward is it, I, I must feel like that there is um, <clears throat> a choice that needs to be made. And this could be, uh, I don't know, needing to balance the amount of time that you're putting into a connection versus how much time you're putting into having fun. It looks like that it is a relationship, career, and a social life that's triangulating triangulating this situation for you Taurus. my children are in the background guys but we're gonna try to keep it zoned in right here um so i do see that so without too much speculating let's go ahead and jump right in see how uh taurus is showing up well before we do that let's yeah this is their love life spirits can you please show me the person in Taurus's life, Queen of Swords. So I don't necessarily, dang, these are the exact same cards that came through in Aries. So you may have Aries highly aspected, or you may be dealing with an Aries. Um, but this is person is cold, closed off. I'm not going to say cold. They're closed off. It's almost as if they're a uh, fact of the matter as in discussions and um i feel like this person may okay so if you're if i asked if what the person in your life was so if you're not showing up in this code energy then your person is and um it's almost as if this person has is having a hard time balancing out uh advancing their career and enjoying their life Okay, it's just that. So, let's see how this person is viewing Taurus. How this person feels about Taurus. What are their intentions as it pertains to Taurus? And what is the likely outcome? All right. So, let's see what's going on here with this Queen of Swords energy. This could also be Libra Capricorn. No, Libra Virgo. Right, Spirit? Libra Virgo. Yes. So they view you as stable, solid, um, yeah, they, 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 they definitely see you as stable, a good pick, Ooh! but maybe that's the, but, mm. Maybe stability is what this is. Like maybe that's why they're. Uh, maybe this is a business transaction. Let's just say that. Maybe this is something of sorts of a business transaction, and um, uh, you can advance this person along in some aspect or another. I don't know. Let's move forward. How do they feel about Taurus? So we have the Sun card, we have the uh, Hierophant card, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so yeah, I, I feel like that you can, looky here, like, like I feel like that if you want a relationship with this person, you can absolutely have it. Give me just a second, guys, my puppy, my dog was about to run in the street, but anywho, um, 
yeah, like I, I feel like that you can you can bank on having a connection with this person. I do. Um, but I feel like that they view you as stable. Um, I do feel that there's this element of top, like, I feel like that there's not a lot of emotions. The queen of cups, I mean, the queen of swords, as a matter of fact, has detached herself from her emotions. She's not allowing herself to be in tune with her emotions. So whatever, like any relationship that you find the queen of swords or the king of swords in is nine times out of 10, very transactional. What can you do for me? And I'll do for you. Um, so I do feel as if that um, this person is going to offer some type of transactional contract and uh here in the outcome position um we have the ten of wands so uh you know this is this is that's a lot that that's that's a lot the the outcome to be the ten of wands is a lot and then we have the devil here at the bottom of the deck with the knight of cups um the knight of cups is bringing in an offer of love usually this offer of love i do feel as if comes attached like there's some there's an element about this uh offer of love that is emotionally unavailable like the, it, it it lacks any emotions here so that's what i'm feeling here for you taurus if this message resonated uh and you would like to see an extended message on this uh at the end of this week we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below uh and in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward guys let's choose peace Love and light.